No, we have two Bowser Juniors in top eight. They ain't PGR. And yeah. Who says Bowser Jr. is like a bottom five character? Like, Bro, I was just talking to Ketchup about this yeah. just before like we got on the commentary. He was like, yo, low key, like everyone thinks like I'm a low tier hero, but like Junior straight high tier, dude. He was he was telling me the frame data. I just go look at his frame data. Go on ultimateframedata.com right dude, now. Okay. Go look at his frame data, dude. It's not okay. okay. You can't look at a frame data like that and be when, like, yeah, this character's when, low tier. What the when, hell? When you with have you? a when you have a throw combo that at zero goes from zero to like fifty to sixty, and then you have fair, which is stupid disjointed and is safe on block because you have the landing hit box. You have forward smashes. It's like oh. Forward smash swift. Let me throw out a down tilt. Or let me just throw out another forward smash because I know you can't punish that. Yeah. You know? You have up B, which you think like, oh, up B doesn't have a hitbox going up, but like you can air dodge like immediately afterwards, so like you don't get hit at the apex of it. And then if you whiff it, there comes a big giant hammer waiting to hit you in the face for that too. That's absolutely wild. And to answer your question, uh, who was it? Too slumpy? Tater Nader is Bowser Jr. That's why we're talking about Bowser Jr. so much because we have two still left in the bracket, that being Ketchup and Tater Nader. But right now we have Razo versus Nitro. This is a SoCal bracket. You know, when I saw the Japanese players here today, I expected all the Japanese players to be in winner side. Right. Little did we know that Raito, top seed, Right, no, Shuton's top seed. Shuton. Raito number two seed in the tournament. I think right, Raito was like three, three? Third, third, yeah. Sue was, Sue was two or what? No, uh, T was two. Oh, T was two. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. But like the Japanese players were the Haven't top four seeds. Seen, right. Yeah. Sheed, Shmeed, man. It's all, it's all about what you can do in that moment. You show up and show out. And right here, Nitro trying to demonstrate he can show out against Raza. Right. You know what? I feel like... You know what, I feel like what makes this matchup like super hard for Belmont is the fact that he, oh my god, he just caught him off stage like that. But as I was saying, I feel like what makes this matchup super hard for the Belmonts is that whenever Peach fares, like normally like a Belmont is like, oh, you're gonna approach the area, let me run back and forward tilt you. Like Peach pancakes on the ground super low and she dodges the forward tilt. And like, if you wait for her to like, like kind of get up, she can shield it. You know? Y'all in the chat are memeing about, like, uh, about the frame data with Mac. But it's like, Mac is, like, is booty, though. Like, that, that's just, like, confirmed. Mac, Mac is booty. <laughs> like, like, Mac is booty, my butt. Every, everything that makes Mac booty is the reason why, like, it, it is, like, Junior has, like, those things that, you know, Junior's definitely better than Mac, so. I mean, yeah. Himself. Honestly, honestly, I, this is, like, because I made Mac. Right. Like, the one thing, the one thing that I would honestly think would make Mac high tier is if you were to put him, give him more hits on either up tilt or down tilt. Because that would give him, uh, <laughs> if, it, if it's down tilt, it would give him true combo to, into KO punch instead of a 50-50. Right? I'm okay with it, that not being a thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yet again, I feel like everybody, everybody agrees Mac is booty. Yeah. I agree that Mac can be, like, booty compared to the rest of the cast. But, like, I don't... I honestly don't think there's a low tier in this game. Yeah, yeah. I truly don't. I'm, everybody, I'm with every, you there for sure. everybody is viable. It's just some characters are more viable than others, and Mac is unfortunately one of those less than viable characters. But honestly, everybody agrees Mac needs something, but they don't want to see a buff to Mac. Nobody, nobody that played against a good Mac wants to see a better Mac. Yeah. Bristol City is totally wild. He, uh, right in a sense, he says he feels like SoCal players are pretty underrated in general. He doesn't see people talk about Nitro's Belmont only riddles. Uh, that's true. Uh, Nitro definitely goes very much under the radar. So does uh, T3 Dome, and they're easily like some of the best Richters in the world. Yeah. Um, but you know, because they mostly stay in SoCal, they don't get that recognition. Right. Razo at 173 right here on stock number two. Almost gets this gimp on Nitro, chases him off stage. And I love that, using the upbeat recovery to avoid any, you know, nair shenanigans from Razo, but manages to sneak in that forward aerial, or back air roll. Back, ugh, I can't speak right now. Squelch, Backward aerial. Squelch party, when, yeah. you, when you start paying me to commentate, that's when that's when I'll listen to you. That's what I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm at a local, I'm having a beer. This is my, my time to hang out. This yeah. is my service to you. Oh, I love that he caught the tornado so that he wouldn't get gimped by it. You know what, snipes him on the platform right there. And you know what, I love what Nitro is doing with this matchup, you know, because he's just keeping Razo kind of walled out. You know, Razo is just like, I want to get in, but like, I can't get in with all these aerials. And if he tries to stay back, you know, be like, okay, I'm going to let he approach me. Then he just throws out the cross. 
Bowser uh, definitely like falling behind by a lot right here. Nitro setting up these amazing ledge traps with the axe. Yeah, this game is like all but over. Oh my god, Razo just sneaking in, but you know what? Can't sneak in quite quick enough to get that in. A B, a B will take it. Game number one going to Nitro. Me. Uh, on SoCal ranking wise, I'm not sure who's higher. Both of these. Um, I feel like Razo's. I think technically higher Razo currently. Be, I think. I think. Yeah. Nitro. Nitro's like. Nitro's 10. like number ten. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like Nitro's like currently like number five. And they're both from the same sub region in SoCal, that being the Inland Empire, where they just released a new PR. And I think Razo's number one there yeah. as and, well. Yeah. Um, but in all sincerity, these two players play a ton, so they probably go back and forth a decent amount. Right. In fact, I could probably find out right now just on, like, based off of their uh, I -E Smash G yeah. G G brackets. I'm, uh, I'm actually trying to find out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was that new uh, thing that shows you the head-to-head -head between yeah, players. Yeah, Smash Data GG, dude. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty sick. If you haven't sec checked it out, definitely give it a 9. But in the meantime, we got game number two, Nitro versus Razo here on PS2. And Razo off to a much better start. To be completely honest, I don't remember how that first stock, he lost that first stock, but it seemed like he lost this one stock incredibly early and just wasn't able to like recover from that. Right. The nature of Nitro's character is to just whittle away at your opponent with all your projectiles, keeping the wall out, etc. So it's really hard to make a comeback character on a character who is basically designed to prevent such a comeback. Right. But on the flip side, if you're down in stocks like Nitro, right. you know, you're going to be struggling it's to find that kill. It's the exact opposite. I love that. You know, he didn't go for the down air right there because you know Razo was looking for it. And you know, Razo can get a quick, like, up air out of shield for, for doing that. So I love what Nitro's doing. He's just kind of sitting back and waiting for Razo to kind of, like, go into his face. But Razo just sneaking his way in, you know, finding those aerials, finding that side B, and just trying to get in. Here we go. Oh, try to punish the counter, but unfortunately going to be a little bit too slow on the trigger. And that's the other thing about Forge Smash. Like, it's super strong, especially at the tip, but like, it has a lot of start up to it. Yeah, absolutely. Already Razo maintaining a solid lead. As we mentioned earlier, we're talking about the nature of the matchup. Take that first stock. It's very much like hard to reverse the momentum. And now Nitro being too Stocks down to Razo right here, who's still sub 100%. It's looking pretty grim. Might be thinking about game number three, thinking about how you can slow down your opponent and start to just collect data as opposed to actually try to like win right. in this in this game. It's still possible. I mean, three stock comebacks are definitely a thing. I mean, you know, like you're getting a little bit desperate for the kill when a Belmont runs off stage and try to find it. Yeah. Up the out of shield, still not going to be enough. He throws across in the opposite direction. I like that little slow shimmy backwards. Give himself some space. Try to bait out an attack. Ooh, tried grabbing that, but unfortunately going to get crossed up for a bit. There's the bear. He's off stage. No, he sneaks in across to prevent him from the edge guard. And again, I like what Nitro's doing. He's kind of just empty hopping, you know, trying to condition Razo to like drop his shield so that he can just sneak in that one back air that'll actually like land his mark. Yeah. So nice double jumps into the down air right there. The percent that Razo's out is kind of tricky. He does get the forward throw by the ledge and a very, very later percent such as those. That will be a kill option. Nitro gets it. It's an aggressive play. Oh, reads the tech roll in, but no, I'm not going to get the punish off of it. And he just down there, or down tilt from one edge <laughs> to the platform, platform to the, to the other. other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that catches the turn up, but he's going to also catch these hands. Razo taking a two stock in game number two, and now we're one to one. So I'm taking a look right now at their head to head for this current season, which only lists five tournaments that they had in Smash EG. Granted, this may not be the 100% most accurate data, but as it stands, what I'm looking at right now is they played five times, and uh, Razo has won three of those sets. And they've mostly all been game five, except two, where one was a 3-0, one was a 3-1. Stop! 
<laughs> Very close. So uh, de definitely even, even. Right. I mean, definitely like a three-two set count. Like that is, that can swing either way so quickly. You know, it just yeah. comes down to who's feeling good that night. And you know what? Nigel's just like, okay, you figure out my Belmont. Let, let's pull out the Joker. Joker coming out. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, Nitro's new toy, man. He's been messing around with a lot of low tiers for a while. You know what people are consider low tiers or what they perceive as low tiers? Because there's just low tiers. There is there. no low tier yeah, in this exactly, game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, we got... Oh, trying going for the re but unfortunately not going to be able to land it in time. Yeah, he has been like using Joker for like a good, a good a, like a month or two now. Maybe a little bit longer than that at this point. It's definitely like I mean, Breakthrough was his day one, so. right? And then this is like his like month, like month and a half, two yeah. months, like Joker. This is like tournament ready Joker. Yeah, it's definitely tournament ready. He's definitely shown uh, has results with the character too. Ooh, and wow. I like the counter pack in, in this. Fe uh, matter anyways because even if you do like drop the first stock say you do have the this massive deficit you always have the chance that our sand comes and saves the day right and so like you could turn a deficit around into completely in your favor just off of uh the kill confirms and damage output that joker has when he has the persona awakening and again, sneaks on the stage, you know, trying to find his way back to it. But, you know, Razo is just so intimidating, just floating right there in that airspace where he wants to be in. And, wow, just throwing out all those bears. Because, I mean, why not when you just can blow cancel bear? Yeah. All right. Goes for the guns. And just the air dodge past this grab right here. Nitro hanging out by the ledge, seeing if he can't uh, get this back throw by the ledge. Razo's not careful and allows Raza to get that if we get the KO. The only other like grab uh, kill throw that um, Joker has is the, uh, the down throw, but that's like at like, stupid hyper sets. Like, you're like at 170, 180, you're like, oh, okay, now I down throw you. You're like at 200, yay. I mean, to be fair, back throw also kills, but like you have to be like at the ledge for that to go. I love that, just running away, you know, Razo was just like, okay, are you going to spot dodge, trying to anticipate the grab, and you know, Nitro just said, no, nah, I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah. And he called out the jump with the side B, but 166%, I mean, you know what, that is not too far of a kill for Nitro at this point. And that was crucial, man, just in time to get rid of Arsene, and Razo hanging out to his first stock, barely at 171. Just to answer some questions in the chat real quick, like, people are saying, like, it's interesting that so many people have pocket Jokers, even though Joker's not really, like, an easy character. A, he's swag as hell. He's not, like, Smash 4 Cloud or, like, it was just, like, pick up and play, but he's swag as hell, and he's actually, like, very, very good. When you get moving with him, when you get started with him, you're, you're like, he's DLC worthy, like, for sure. <laughs> I mean, Joker is just, like, when he gets that Arsene, and when you get those Arsene combos, like, you can just steal games with that. Yeah, absolutely. I see Nitro trying to bring him back in terms of percent right here by the ledge. Another thing is that, like, you know, people are saying, oh, like, Leo's the only Joker. And it's like, well, there's a couple other Jokers out there, but there aren't too many because there aren't too many who decided to just stick it out with the character after week one, right? And the, the character does take dedication because he has a lot to work with, uh, a lot of different confirms, um, tight, like, windows to perform those confirms. So I feel like Joker's one of those characters where, like, at the medium to, like, high level play, He's all right, but he's not amazing. But at the top level play, when you're at like Leo's level, you know, he becomes just stupid and OP. Yeah. But I feel like it's getting to that mountain, coming, overcoming that little learning curve pump. Is, that is what's yeah preventing most people from coming up here. Exactly. And the reason why I see like that there are so few players is because like Joker's, all, I mean, uh, MK Leo, he's already like so good at the game that he has a giant head start on anyone else who's trying to learn the character anyways because his intuition is that much better. And even then, MK Leo doesn't even go Joker like 100% at the time. You know? yeah. He pulls out Lucina, he pulls out the bars recently, oh, yeah. you know? He's not a stranger to counterpicking. I mean, nonetheless, Nitro dropping down to his last stock right here in game number three. Razo not too far behind at 117 though. That Aegon, or excuse me, that Aha, uh, racking up a little bit more damage. 
The good thing about AHA is that like you get that first hit and it like uh, slowly increments the percent over time, which is great because it acts kind of like Pikmin, except you can't shake them off. So it really like, as that percentage is building, you know, Razo is now in a position where like, dang, my percentage is going on. I should, I should, uh, I should go in, I should go in. I mean, it's one of those things where it, it's a delayed damage, you know? Like, you know you're gonna get it eventually, but like, it's like, how much later are you gonna get Yeah. Up east to the ledge right here. Scary position for Nitro. Going up his backers. Dude, those two bears like did like two so thirds of his shield. So much shield damage, yeah. yeah. And you know what? The win. Win. Yeah. And you know what? Rosal sneaks in that fair. Tries throwing the turnip, but you know what? Calling out the jump. Not going to be able to find it. Nitro just sitting content. And uh, you know what? He finds the grab because the, the toe just went in the totally wrong direction. Yeah, they shouldn't change Joker at all. He should stay the way he is for really the rest of the meta. I am on. Just saying. I mean, he's, Joker, to he's totally fine. Yeah. Joker feels Color like the, the Smash Ultimate version of Smash 4 Sheik. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. I'm, I'm, I'm with it, because, like, Sheik felt like, oh, nice back air right there from Nitro. Back to our last stock right here, 118. And our set, Razo waited on the platform. I would have liked to see him oh. use the invincibility a little bit more, but it's not going to matter. He takes the time to collect himself instead and just zone in, zero in on where Nitro wants to be and meets him with that forward air. I was going to say, in general, like in that moment, if you had looked at Nitro's meter, he was nearly about to get our sense. So like, I, I would have figured like best, best play is like, get off this platform, use the maximum time of my invincibility and my invulnerability since like the longer you wait on that angel platform, when you get off of it, you have less less uh, frames. But yeah, I would have liked him see him use that invincibility and just, like get something going like that. Didn't need it. Um, I mean, yet again, and I feel like what Rosal really loves to do is that when he's losing or when like he's like almost about to find the kill but not quite sure, he kind of slows things down to his pace and try to really figure out what you're going to do. That fair, like Peach Fair is like stupid good, it has a stupid long range, it's stupid disjointed, but it's also kind of slow. So like you have to really call out where your opponent wants to be, where they want to go in order to hit that bear. Yeah. You know? So I feel like taking that time to download where Nitro goes, where you have it, where he likes to jump, you know, how does he react to certain situations, and making a call out like that to take out game three like that, you know, that was a really good awareness on Rosal's part. Okay, Nitro showing to send a little bit right here. He had a nice little drag down combo going, uh, going earlier, but he just didn't have the right percentage. That's it, the down air to up smash? Oh. Actually not enough to take it, not even off the platform. If it was Game & Watch, that would have killed Oh, e easily. Oh you know, the thing is that Razo, he saw the position he was in and preemptively he eyed hard as hell, dude. Because if there was no reason, he, he uh, no way he would have survived without proper DI. Oh, yeah. that Aha, he's off stage. You know, I love that. You know, he doesn't immediately go for ledge. He kind of like waits a little bit for Razo to kind of like use his resources and then he goes for the ledge. Once Razo's just like, okay, bye, I've, I've overextended. Right, so here we go. You know, all the back airs, no, it's gonna trade, but you know what? Both players are kind of gonna be reeling from that and you know what, super high percent, who's gonna find the kill first? Ooh, okay, whiffing a grab, that's gonna cost him a little bit. He gets hit by the neutral air, he's back on the right side of the stage. Get up attack, working out for him. Nitro at the ledge now, tries to activate the Rebel's guard, excuse me, the Tetra Karn. That forward throw, it's gonna take it. Razo up one stock, barely, just by a small, small margin here. I mean, one quick back air is all it's gonna take for him to, you know, even the stocks out, but you know, Razo, not gonna let him take that back air for free. He's gonna work for it. Oh, you know, 61%, you know, he has. Woo! Oh, I like that. Because every time that Rosal has been going for the up he's kind of been going like up and above the left. Yes. Yeah, that time the uh, difference was that he was the lowest possible. So he sweet spotted the ledge perfectly and the activation of the counter was not able to actually activate in time to get that hitbox out and get that punish. And you know, you gotta also be really careful about me because if you up me like in the stage to, to like try to do it and you your parasol is very disjointed. So if 
Raw, or if Nitro counters it at a specific way, he can hit Peach before she snap ledge, you know? Absolutely. Which is why you saw Razo kind of like up B, kind of like away from ledge, that he just right. barely grabbed the ledge when he gets yep. it. Absolutely. Really smart observation right there. Charges up the hub smash, kind of expecting Nitro to just jump in. Continually applying this pressure. There's the up air, Nitro, trying to catch the landing with the Aegon, or Aha, excuse me. Aha, Aegon, when he has our son. That looked like he like air dodge and then like jumped out of the end like a that, that was really weird. But you know what? Our sense about to come back and play. There's the Rebels guard, but you know what? He's not gonna be able to capitalize on it. Gets snared instead. And Razo now one stock away, possibly two to three conversions away from stealing this set away from Nitro. We can't even call it a, a theft, really. The theft on the field right here, that would be the Phantom Thief, right? right. Joker. And he snatched Razo's heart away, gets the roll pass, gets the grab. Looking for that back air off stage. No, not gonna be able to find it. Tries to let's trap him, gets him off stage yet again. Anyway, he's going in a little bit deep. But knowing he respects Razo, going in far high instead. Ooh. And I mean, if you're Nitro at this point, you're just trying to not get exploding combo. Here's our sand. Doesn't get punished. Activating that Rebel Guard. You know, and that's kind of like the bad thing about Joker is that he does struggle to kill a little bit. You know, he's yeah. at 180. Yeah, this is back uh, down throw percent. But can he find that grab? That's the thing. I I like the attempt right there. Ooh, he's trying to go for the, the Tetracarn. But you know what? Razo just floating away in safety. And you know what? Finds the bears. All he needs is one grab at this point. But. You know what, Razo not gonna find it, he's at 200%. 200% Nitro unable to find this KO. He gets hit by the forward air, allowing Razo to travel across the stage. And you know what, Razo was calling him, landing on that platform, and Nitro's just like, nope, 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 oh. jump, jump out of the way, avoid that at all costs. And you see him, he's looking for the grab, right, he finds it. Yep, down throw yep. into the KO, but it's 103%. He does have Arsene meter fully. Charge right about here should be activating right about now. There and it is. I, you know, Razo tried doing the exact same thing he did in game three. And Nitro learning from that was just like, okay, I'm not gonna jump this time. Because I know you're looking for that jump. Oh, that usual air just not barely confirming into the grab. I mean, this is make or break for Nitro. You know, at this point, like, he needs to find a back air edge guard and just take out Razo before it's too late. But oh, you know what? It looks gone. like the time is oh, up. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. he's dead. Yep. And he gets sniped out of his recovery with right. the turnip. Perfectly placed by Razo, taking a 3-1 victory over Nitro here. Just adding another set to his uh, game counts. All right. Really solid stuff. Y'all y'all tripping in the chat, man. Joker's perfect the way he is. Right. He's not getting changed. I mean, at this point, like, I feel like in the meta right now, there aren't a whole lot of characters I would nerf. Yeah, I feel I like nerfs aren't the way to go. I feel totally. like buff, low, buff the lower tier characters. Buff, I agree. Give, give more characters more options, etc. Yeah. There are certain things that need to be nerfed, as in, like, if it's just, like, right. truly OP or it just doesn't, it, it, it doesn't function as intended. Like, right. I feel like... Well, uh, one of those things, I feel like Snake needs like a slight nerf. Probably, probably I, I would give him a 